Hello everybody, the Hardy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a dedicated server in Rust. Uh, so let's do it. Yeah. Uh, first we need to create a new folder for Steam CMD. I'll call it like CMD. After we created a folder on our desktop, uh, we need to go to the file manager, uh, click at the local disk C and we need to create a new folder called it uh, Rust Server. Click enter and uh, here we go, we have two empty folders. We need to open up our browser and type something like uh, Steam CMD. We need to go to this first site, uh, just click on it and uh, click at this button. Uh, Steam CMD for Windows. If you have Linux, you can check the instructions and uh, just follow it. I downloaded this archive. We need to drag this installer into our CMD folder. Now we need to open it. And now we need to launch this exe file. The loading has finished. Now we need to choose the directory to install our server. Now we need to change the directory. I'll just type force underline install underline dir. Uh, we need to type our uh, path, it's C, semicolons, backslash, Rust server, uh, backslash, and uh, quote. Press enter. If you didn't have any messages, uh, it's good. It means that you did it right. Uh, now we need to type login anonymous. And uh, after these messages, we need to type app update and these numbers. Uh, this will create a normal server. If you want to create a standard branch server, you need to add dash beta staging. But I want to create a normal server, so I just type uh, these numbers and press enter. And now we need to wait for a couple of minutes. It depends on your internet, so uh, it can take about five minutes. Let's just wait. The downloading has finished and now we need to open our file manager when we are keeping our server. So I'll go to C directory, Rust server, and here we can see a ton of files. Now we are going to create a new text document, uh, called it uh, Rust server. Uh, press enter and open it. Here we need to paste a few of lines and um, uh, here uh, you can set up your server. Here you can change the map, uh, the seat, world size, uh, max players count and many different settings. I won't change nothing. Um, I'll drop a link in the description to an official site where you can find this information. We need to go to File, Save As and um, click at All Files, it's important. Uh, we need to delete this uh, .txt and uh, uh, type BAT, uh, click at Save. And we have a new uh, file called rustserver.bat. Uh, and we need to open it. Uh, we need to wait for a minute and uh, it will launch our server. Once it's finished, uh, we need to connect to our server. By the way, don't worry about these two lines. Uh, it's okay. And after it, you can connect to your server. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.